Our next guest is bringing the physical and virtual worlds together. This is pretty awesome. You have got to make sure, as you're listening to us on the radio, perhaps one of our uh, 186 affiliate radio stations, AM and FMs all across the country, that you have an opportunity to hit us up at intotomorrow.com anytime at your leisure. Check out the videos of our guests, but especially this next one. Head of Partnerships with Erasma, is that the correct pronunciation? Yes, it is. All righty, is Matt Mills. Matt, welcome into tomorrow. Thank you. You sat down at our little broadcast table here, and you showed me a couple of things that literally blew myself and my team away. And we've got to be able to show them on camera and yet talk about them on the radio. Mm. So where do we start? Uh, tell me, first of all, what Erasma is all about. Absolutely. So Erasma is a visual browsing platform. So what we've done is we've taken some of the best image recognition technology in the world. We've got it to run on mobile phones and other mobile devices, so things like tablets and in the future, other things like eyewear. Uh -huh. And then we enable it so that it can look at things, understand things in the real world, and then pull in digital content. So for you and for our great American audience, what we've done is we've taken the most ubiquitous thing we could find, uh, which is a $20 bill. And uh, yeah, we've, we've set up a little animation on that. Very fine. So now what I'm going to do, is, is if I do it correctly, is I'm going to pick up uh, your iPhone. Correct. And I'm going to point it toward uh, our uh, U.S. $20 bill. Let me get my hands out of the way as it's recognizing it. And Andres is m working hard to move in tight on what this is going to do. And it's removing the elements of the $20 bill. I mean, the 20s are kind of zooming in off the screen. United States of America, in God we trust, zooming out of, off of the bill. And it's now zooming into the flag flying on top of the White House. And the American flag is animated saying, God bless America, land of innovation. And this is the perfect example. If you pull back out again a little bit, you'll see that what this phone is pointing to is a U.S. $20 bill. And it's doing all of this magical animation. That's pretty amazing. The virtual world meeting the physical world. Exactly. And what's great is although something like this requires a bit more professional work, users can do this themselves. So there's one button inside the application where you can take a photograph of anything. You can put a video or 3D animation on the top of it, and then you can share it with your friends. And, l and now this is something that we as consumers can do now? Absolutely, yeah. So this application is Orasma Lite. That's A-U-R-A-S-M-A. -A, and it's available on iOS and on Android. It's available in the App Store right now and the Google Play. It's completely free for users to download. And it can do just all sorts of crazy things. So here you've got the minions from Despicable Me in 3D, uh, part of our work with Universal Pictures. But also, we've got really nice things like teachers who've tagged up classrooms with augmented reality content so kids can walk around and point at the pictures. Uh, and also, people. So, what a great teaching tool! As Absolutely. Well. Yeah, well, we had a teacher say to us it was great because when he couldn't be with that particular class, they could still see him guiding them around the classroom. Oh, I love it. And so <laughs> now I've also taken a little shot of. And what is this that I'm looking at? It's like a DVD cover. Oh, exactly. This uh, is a printout of a DVD cover. Of King Kong. So I'm, I'm showing you the, the printout. But then back to what this device is doing, it now has a 3D image on the iPhone here. And it will work with Android as well, I trust? Absolutely. Very fine. And here's King Kong crawling up the Empire State Building. Literally. And I can turn him around. I can turn this little DVD cover around. And you see a complete 3D image all the way around this device. And you're saying it soon will be able to be more interactive. I could maybe move my finger in and kind of flick him off virtually. Absolutely, we're always working on interactivity all the time. We're building it out so our partners can make their own basic games. It'll be as easy as building a game in JavaScript, but you can now do it on the real world. Now, I mean, you've already given us some great examples of how this can be used educationally and yep. in, in, other, in other manners. Uh, what else can we do? I mean, the 3D effects and more that you're working on regularly can just blow us away. Absolutely. We had a lovely thing that one of our partners did down in the US where they uh, lifted up the, the hood of an old car and they tagged up parts of the engine. So if you're having engine trouble and something's wrong, you can point at that part of the engine. It explains what it is and what you should do to try and fix it. Someone else has done the same thing with the back of wireless routers. And then some of our partners like Condé Nast, they've taken this amazing GQ magazine and every single page inside this magazine is augmented. So every advert, every piece of editorial, everything inside here can click off to a website or show you more. 
So the, and this is this have to do with the inks <laughs> that they're putting in the ads, or, or it's magical and you can't tell me or you'd have to kill me? No, it's something like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to so be able to just remove the elements of, of a $20 bill just because I'm pointing my phone at it, uh, again, blows us away, but it's just amazing what it's doing. So it's no doubt recognizing what it is. Yep. And will it work on more than a 20, or is it just that you'd like to take my $20? Well, <laughs> well we were going to ask for 100, but they didn't have one. So it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but so is it recognizing the fact that it's, in this case, a, a U.S. $20 bill, and now it's saying, ah, I know what it is. Now let's do some fun things and interact with it. You've got it exactly. So there's a combination of uh, partners being able to do this, but like I say, also users as well. So yeah. if a user wants to you know, tag up the front of their house and explain the cool things about their house, they can do that, and then they can share it with their friends. So when their friends point, it can explain more things about their house. Like real estate agents wanting to sell the house. Perhaps, yeah. Oh, <laughs> ma amazing. Matt, thank you for spending a couple of minutes with us. You've got to stay in touch so we can inform our audience about all the cool things that Erasmus is doing into tomorrow. Absolutely. Dave, it's been a pleasure. Terrific. Intotomorrow.com. And, of course, their website is A-U-R-A-S-M-A, Arasma.com. We'll link you there. You'll see what Matt and his team are up to. Very cool stuff. And you have got to come and see this video, especially. It will blow you away. Intotomorrow.com. <laughs>